Dock the ship here. Hush now. Tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? Make way for Eivor, the terror of the Western... It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. <gasps> they are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs> this is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashshield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Wolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head- All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, 
Those three, yeah? Huh? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them. Do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <gasps> Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. First. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. That's enough! Did I win? No, but you fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck.
get on the other side. from them. Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive, like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. What about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Baron wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjot pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjot. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down! No! At least be alone! You will answer for your actions. Zolke will stay within the city. He finds safety within its walls.
coming! Clan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kyrtve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketway broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Ketway and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? 
Hold a moment. You, Captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjordvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjordvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. <laughs> 